Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a catchy YouTube thumbnail. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and open up a blank canvas of 1280 by 720 pixels. This is the typical YouTube thumbnail size, so you could just save this on your desktop as a PSD if you always want to have this blank template ready. Now, what I like to do for my videos is usually either take a picture or grab a screenshot of an interesting frame in the video and you could do that for your video too if, if there's an interesting frame or you could just use all text if you don't have a picture so I'm gonna drag this picture in because we're gonna try to recreate that classic catchy YouTube thumbnail and then I'll press edit transform or edit free transform to scale it down to size so it fits better into this canvas and I'm holding shift here to constrain proportions so what we want to do is cut this out. Now there's a lot of ways to cut things out in Photoshop. I have tutorials on different ways, but what I like using for thumbnails and what works best most of the time is the quick selection tool. Now you want to just choose a brush size that works well for the canvas, so like 10 or 20 pixels, and then you just paint in the selection and as long as you have some pretty crisp outlines, it works pretty well. You don't have to get it all in one shot. You can pick up and release your drag and continue in other areas just make sure you're working on add to selection mode once you want to get to smaller areas like the ear you could lower your brush size and pick those up or areas like the finger you can also use the bracket keys on your keyboard to lower your brush size automatically typically it'll usually go over the boundaries a bit like you see here so then I switch to the minus from selection tool and erase out those small sections but Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's uh, going to be showing up pretty small on the YouTube thumbnail area. So once you have a pretty decent selection, the new feature in Photoshop CC is Select and Mask. You might also see Refine Selection here. But what you want to do here is you can adjust things like the smoothness of your selection, which you can see my selection was kind of choppy, so I'll make it smoother. And you can adjust the contrast of it and shift the edge inward or outward. And you can also grab the brush here and remove parts of the selection with the minus tool or add parts with the plus tool. So I'll press OK and I have my selection. And then with any of these selection tools highlighted, I like to just right click, layer via copy. And then you can minimize your original screenshot and you have the selection on its own layer. So now what we want to do is pick a fun color or pattern for the background. So I'll go back to my background layer and I like to just go to layer, new fill layer, you can choose a solid color, gradient, or a pattern. I'll choose a solid color. And in this case, I'll use a fun, bright orange color. So that looks fine to me. Find a color that you like. And then what you want to do is place your screenshot or cutout where you want so we can place some text. So since I'm kind of looking to the right, I'll place this photo to the right and it gives me some nice space right here to add some text. Now, to make my cutout stand out from the background, what I like to do is right click, go to blending options, and then you can check the stroke option. And in the size, you could play around with how big you want the stroke to be. I'll do like 10 pixels and you could change the position from outside, inside, center. I like using outside. And then just make sure the blending mode is set to normal and you can pick a color of white or whatever color you want. I like using white, I just think it pops out. So now we're starting to get a pretty bright and catchy thumbnail. We just need to add some text right here describing the video. So I'll grab my text tool and I'm going to use a nice bold font. I'm using this font here called Phosphate and I'm using it on the inline setting. And then I'll just click out and I'll write out how to make a thumbnail. So how to, I'll grab my move tool, I'll bring that back over and then I'll create another text layer and I'm going to adjust the size here simply by pressing Command T or you go to Edit, Free Transform and then I'll hold Shift and I'll kind of bring it up to scale. And then lastly, I'll do Thumbnail and I'll do an exclamation point to make it pop. Now I'll press Command T or you can go to Edit, Free Transform, hold Shift and scale that down to size. And then I'll grab my Move tool and just using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can space things out and just kind of make everything visually balanced. And if I want to move this whole group as a whole, I can click one of the layers, hold shift, and click the top one to select everything in between. 
and I like to just put it into a group by clicking this new group button and then you can hide it all at once or move it all at once so place it right there then you can always look at all the layers again by opening it then I'll go back underneath that group layer I'll go to layer new layer to create a new layer and then I'll grab my shape tool and with white as the fill color and nothing as the stroke I'll click and create a little rectangle for this text box to be in and then you can just kind of center things if you grab your group again you can move it it'll automatically snap to the center of that square and last but not least I'll add a overall white border to this whole thing so I'll go to layer new layer and then I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool I'll select everything and then I'll right click and stroke inside with a width of 10 pixels because that's what I used for myself as white as the color and then I'll just command D to deselect and I'll actually move that layer underneath my cutout so it kind of pops out from the border so that's pretty much how you make a nice classic catchy thumbnail that you might have seen a lot on YouTube and how to make YouTube thumbnails in general you could adjust this to your liking and add way more details and effects this is just a very simple and basic example but if you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like on it this is the first time I've ever made the thumbnail making the thumbnail is usually what you do after you make the video but I kinda killed two burns with one stone here because this video was me making the thumbnail so definitely leave a like for that and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you guys next time